So the mission today is we're going to take my uh, the Cannondale Synapse Neo 2 and we're going to uh, attempt to cycle to the top of Calo Alto. This was used on the tour on the, um, La Vuelta about three years ago I think and it's pretty extreme and it's just uh, a peak you can see in the distance right around the distance it's up there and it's a 28 kilometer climb so we'll drive to Saron which is the town at the bottom of the mountain and and then I'll um, cycle up so we've got a full battery we've got um, Nothing much, we'll have a car follow me. Um, Sam and Phil will be up there with cameras and we'll try and put together a little film showcasing the bike because it's all about the bike. The, I weigh 100 kilos, which is outrageous. The bike weighs 17 kilos. So it's 117 kilos. We're gonna see if we can haul to the top of the bike on the battery. Average, I think it's about 9%. It goes up to 22, 23% in a few places. So um, it's really a test to see just how good the battery and motor are to give you some idea of uh, what it's like in the real world under real conditions, under extreme conditions. These are not conditions that you'd be doing every day, but so this is that's the test. So uh, we're gonna pack the bike up and we're gonna head off and uh, we'll be back on the bike. We're at 18 kilometers an hour, which is perfectly adequate. I want to keep the cadence to about 75, 80. Keep the legs spinning. Uh, there's a sign no one likes to see. Uh, I'll just grind this bit out. This looks like a ramp. So, cameras we're using. We've got two GoPros on the go. We've got one on the bonnet of the car. Uh, and we've got this one on the bike. GoPro 8s. We're using the Sony RX100 Mark IV, which is uh, great for movie and stills. And we've also got the Sony uh, VX1, the new vlogging camera, uh, which is proving to be quite a little workhorse. I uh, really like it actually. For those that you watched, I did a review on the bike uh, a little while ago. Well, this is a bit of a follow-up, pushing the bike to the extreme really, because I'm 100 kilos, uh, which is way too heavy. I'm not in the fittest. Obviously I can still cycle. There's a long time, two years since I've done anything like this. I certainly couldn't dream of tackling this on my normal bike at the minute. Not far to go. Not far to go. <laughs> couple of bikers up there having a rest before they come down. Hey! Oh, someone else coming up. Arriba, arriba! So we've got 4K to go. His legs will be feeling it now. Oh, come on, where's his turn off?
this is not what you want to see at the end of a epic climb We're nearly nearly at the top and here we go there's the observatories come into view oh yeah the well, hard work nearly done we're on top of the mountains we're at nearly 2400 meters it comes through the finish line ah! And this is the view from the top. We are on top of the world. We just do a little rotation there in the background. Here's the big dome. Just keep going. How good is that? Oh, super impressed with the bike. Like proper, proper impressed. There's no way I could have done that without that bike, not my presence, that fitness. A couple of years ago I might have done. But definitely, no way Jose at the moment, uh, just wouldn't have happened. Okay, to summarize, uh, battery, absolutely no problem at all. Got me to the top with no issues. Uh, when I got to the top, I still had on the kilometer counter five kilometers left, but obviously you have to bear in mind that was at that present rate of climb. Um, there's four battery modes, Eco, Tour, Sport and Turbo. I did the whole climb in Tour, uh, except for the top two ramps I did in Turbo. So if you was going downhill, for instance, that kilometer counter would climb quite drastically, which it did. When I got to the bottom, I had about 80 kilometers left on the clock, obviously using no battery. It's actually a really steady, uh, sure-footed bike on the downhills. Bearing in mind I was doing 70 odd kilometers an hour coming down most of the way with some quite tight turns. Um, you absolutely feel really sure. It's got nice, the tires are great. I've not changed the tires, normally I do, but I've not changed the tires on this one. Um, they're absolutely fine. You don't feel like you're in any trouble. It's comfortable because they're fatter tires. Yeah, can only say good things about the bike really. So any questions, please, um, Leave some comments, uh, like, and subscribe, and I'll do some more stuff. Thanks for watching. Um, excellent. Till next time.